Are the best players available usually running backs? <laughs> <laughs> well, is 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 Brees Hall in Superflex? You can even say tight end premium, the the one one right now, because it seems like we're at this you is, know this, we're at a little bit of a nobody's Willis is probably the most upside, but but raw and and you know could definitely have bust potential but and Brees seems like maybe he won't be you know maybe he's not touching the, the Jonathan Taylor realm of things which you know few are so I think we sh- people right. need to just get over that uh, you know there's only one or two guys like that um, but you know it seems like it may be a little safer or or do you have to take the quarterback are you are you just what, what do you how are you feeling about that and we do share a league, and we have the one-one. So tell us what we should do. Yeah. <laughs> so, so just, you know, just let us know. Uh, I am typically a staunch, like quarterback-heavy early guy in superflex. Like typically, and and the reason for that is is because of the the scoring settings and and specifically the the roster alignment. To have enough starting quarterbacks in a twelve-team league. There, there, that means there needs to be 24 starting caliber quarterbacks. <laughs> Viable options. Which, <laughs> which really isn't the case right now in the NFL. And on top of that, you don't even feel sort of comfortable until you have three because you need a solid backup you got as to. well. And, and if you have a it's solid me, four, if you have that solid third guy, that's a ridiculous trade potential to get sure. basically almost anybody that you want. If you have a good quarterback to trade, because it's so hard to find, it's so hard to trade for a quarterback at Superflex. You got to go find someone that has an abundance and then is willing to part with them. And it's it's just, and then and then there has to be a guy that you might like and want. It's just so hard to trade for a quarterback it's, at Superflex. So so you're taking the quarterback over over Brees here. Uh, well, there was there was about to be a but. Okay, there was about to Sorry. be a but. I interrupted as I'm talking about this. My bad. <laughs> Uh, no, no, you're good. So normally that that is the case. You know, every year I'm usually my top two, three players are all quarterbacks. But the other the other thing that I think is really, really significant, specifically in the first half of the first round, you can't miss like you cannot miss on those because it sets your team back so far because chances are if you're picking there. There's a reason. Now, sometimes you traded for that pick and like, congratulations, you have a great team right. and you still have a great pick. But more times than not, you you earned that pick. You know, your, your team didn't play that well. You had a lot of injuries, whatever it was, your, your team didn't finish well. So you need that pick to hit. So in this situation, I don't feel like any of the quarterbacks, I feel 85% or better that they will hit. You know, I think a lot of them are closer to these 50-50 marks. And maybe I'll feel a hair better once we get draft capital, landing spot, that kind of stuff. That might help it a little bit. But I'm still a big, you know, draft based on talent more than situation guy. Mm -hmm. So I really think there's only two prospects for me right now that I feel 85%, 90% or better on that they will hit. And one of those two guys is Brees Hall. So right now... If gun to my head, without knowing anything else, if I had to pick, it would be Brees Hall at 1-1. And the truth <laughs> shall set you free. I well, how about that? A running back going 1-1 in Superflex. I love it. I, I mean, I want to take Brees Hall. We have the 1-1. We could use a quarterback. We probably should take Malik Willis. But, I mean, I'm down to take Brees Hall. I mean. I just, it's like you said, you know, it's, 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 I don't. I don't know that Brees is going to be, you know, an elite player, but I'm, I'm pretty sure he could be in the hall of pretty good weather. And, and yep. Will Willis be uh, even in the hall of pretty good. Now, with that being said, Willis will probably have a pretty long leash of extended value. Um, sure. So I, I don't know that you can necessarily go wrong. And maybe you could give yourself a, a half a season or a season to to move off of Willis if, if you really wanted to, because somebody will still be a big Willis guy. That was probably a Willis guy sure. before uh, he went there, but I, I tend to, to lean with you. As, you know, again, we're we're kind of in that situation in a league that we share with you, and and I, I think right now we would we would probably lean Brees. I mean, honestly, if you're you know, I, I would prefer to trade out um, and, sure. and just absolutely not move too far back. You know, if I could get back to seven or eight, they got four or five. Or, yeah. yeah, so yeah, four or five. I don't. Let's not go. Well, that we have far back. we already we have five. <laughs> we do have five. 
So that's oh, nice. Oh, there you go. But... Back-to-back picks. Get four and five. Bada-bing, bada-boom. Yeah. So. What pick do you guys have in that lane? Huh? I don't know where Garrett's at. You, <laughs> you have... do pretty well, I think. We we, I, we took I over an orphan don't... team. I forget who we took the team over from. And then we, like, sold a bunch of pieces to try and win immediately. And then it didn't, didn't work, work out. And now we just blew it all up. We got a bunch of first-round picks these next couple of years. and Not a bunch, but enough. And... Just sure. just traded for Elijah Moore, trying to get younger and just play that whole rebuild Ooh, game. I hate I, I hate that game. It's no fun. It's no fun blowing up your team. <laughs> but uh, sometimes you got to do it. Well, it, it was a it was a weird year for me because I was in your guys' spot. I think we entered the league around the same time. I took over. I think it was for the Podfather. Mm. Is who I took. That's over. why we joined the league. That's we joined the, the league. Reason, yeah, because he was in there. And then they, they staged a coup to kick him out. And we were like, no, nah, we don't vote. We don't want to kick him out. Can we just keep him in? I mean, like, what are y'all doing? Right. Because he won't play yeah, in too many leagues. stuck with me, man. Oh, yeah. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's the best thing that ever happened. Uh, don't give us Garrett. No. <laughs> oh, my God. Who, who even is that guy? What? Uh, no, no, no. So I, I, I vaguely remember. I think I, I even made a couple trades with you guys yeah. back then. And. Uh, you know, I was I was selling everything. I was selling oh, all yeah, the we assets, bought, but we bought, we bought Melvin Gordon and Le'Veon from you. Total winner idiots. in that trade. Yep. Bunch of idiots. <laughs> you got Josh yeah, Jacobs. I got, I got Josh Jacobs and there. a first I'm, or I'm something. Pretty happy. Oh, yep, yep. Devastating. Out pretty well. Terrible. <laughs> but this year, I thought you know I wasn't planning on going all in, but Tyler Gunther just kept offering me trades and trades and trades. He's relentless. And, uh, I, he really is. And so at some point, like, I was getting, like, great values on Christian McCaffrey and Derrick Henry. And I was like, <laughs> hey, well, I guess I'm going all in. Yeah, here we go. And then they both got hurt. <laughs> so here we are. That's fucking – that's fantasy football in a nutshell for you, man. It's so difficult it to is. win. So. All right. Well, we solved one thing. We got Brees Hall at the 1-1. Superflex, pow. You heard it here. Love that. <laughs>